Hello and welcome back. Today I will be sharing you the books that I brought with me to uni. Um, it's going to be more like a bookshelf tour because that's easy and I'm pulling all the books off my shelf. But I figured I'd just show you what books I brought with me to uni because it's quite a while away from home. And yeah, this is a fraction of the books that I have in total, which, you know, I have a lot of books in total. Uh, but these are the books that I brought with me to uni. Let's get started, shall we? So my bookcase has two sides. On this side I have books about writing. So I have the Oxford um, Concise Thesaurus. One the book, a guidebook to Carnarvon Castle. A uh, ready set novel which is uh, by the people from NaNoWriMo. Writing Down the Bones by Natalie Goldberg. Writing Great Books for Young Adults by Regina Brooks, How Not to Write a Novel, Stephen King's On Writing, um, 10,000 Baby Names, in case I get stuck for names when writing, and these are all my notebooks, some used, some unused, and then here are my books for uni, so I have Oryx and Craig by Margaret Atwood, The Yellow Bears by Kevin Powers, The Will Rider by Witi Mara, uh, Home by Toni Morrison, Mosina meets the Reluctant Fundamentalist, of which some of the title has faded away. Um, extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Fowler. Talk, uh, we Need to Talk About Kevin by Lionel Shriver. The Gap of Time by Jeanette Winterson. I love this cover. And then we have two Penguin English Library editions. So we have A Study in Scarlet by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and the Murder in the Rue Morgue and Other Tales by Edgar Allan Poe to Agatha Christie novels, so The Murder of Roger Ackroyd and uh, The Murder on the Orient Express. For Well My Lovely by Raymond Chandler, uh, Leonardo Siasha uh, to each his own, and then some reference books. Um, this one was actually quite fun, Writing English, that's gone Dutch. And this is very useful if you're studying literature, modern literary criticism and theory, because it's basically a bunch of theories that you might be able to apply to things. And then here are some pieces of my writing. This is actually the first novel that I completed. And then on the other side, we have more books. So we have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Catherine and Me, all my bookmarks, my e-reader. This is a bunch of the Penguin Little Black Classics. I'm not going to mention all of them, but here's what they are, in case you're wondering. Then we have Charles Dickens' The Signal Man, which is a short story, Alice's Adventures Underground, uh, Gaston Leroux's The Phantom of the Opera in the Vintage Classics edition, um, Another collection of Edgar Allan Poe stories, which is The Fall of the House of Usher and other writings. My uh, copy of the completed works of William Shakespeare and Riverside Chaucer, which has all of Chaucer's works. These are my graphic novels. The Wicked and the Divine is currently missing because I've lent it to a friend, but we've got Nimona by Noel Stevenson. In Real Life by Jen Do Doctorow and Cory, Cory Doctorow and Jen Wang. And the Vampire Academy graphic novel. This is The Lot River of Lost Souls by Isabel Greenberg. Um, Emily Carroll's Rhoda Woods, which I think most people know. The first three volumes of Saga. First volume of Deadly Class and the first volume of The Lumberjanes. And then here are all my other books. I intended to sort them by genre, but I've sort of accidentally made them into a rainbow as well. Uh, so first of all, here is Wicked, which I have already read, but I intend to reread it sometime soon. And then I've got A Monster Calls, A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas, Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor, Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas as well. And then there's The Night Circus, Game of Thrones, The Deed of Paxenarian, <laughs> which Catherine gave me for my birthday, and it's massive because it's all three books. I might just throw my sunglasses on the floor, but that's okay. Um, I still haven't finished this, but I intend to do that soon. 
Six of Crows by Lee Badugo, Lorelei by Laura Duckrill, the first in the Tomorrow series, Tomorrow When the War Began by John Marston. I do have the other two as well, uh, the other first two, so numbers two and three, but I didn't bring them because I figured I'd first read this. Then The Last Beginning by Lauren James, Beautiful Broken Things by Sarah Barnard, and The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Ness. I'm really excited to read this sometime soon. I hope I get around to it soon. <laughs> also, All the Light We Cannot See, and I love this cover, and again, I hope I get to read this soon. Because I kind of intended to read this last year, but it didn't happen. Then Shopaholic Abroad, which is the second in the Shopaholic series by Sophie Kinsella. We were on a break by Lindsay Kelk, which is a news novel. Uh, Christmas with Billy and Me. I've also got Billy and Me, but it's not on my shelf currently, by Giovanna Fletcher. <clears throat> the Wizard of Oz by Frank L. Frank Baum. I always thought it was the other way around, Frank L. Baum, but it's not. And the first Dutch book, which is Man and Zon by, by Stefan Brais. And then I've got Anne Frank's Diary. And And then Nochitz by Berlin Cornelis, which is the sequel to um, Dal Zeg Maar Echt Mijn Ding. Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. This is a very old copy, it was my dad's. And I've pinched it because I want to read it soon. Never Have I Ever Seen My Life So Far Without a Date by Katie Heaney. And The Script of Posh by Lauren Wade, Laura Wade, which is what the film um, The Ride Club is based on. I think I read the first scene and it was quite good, but I haven't finished it yet. And then I have some tiny books here as well. So first of all, I've got Goblin Market and Other Poems by Christina Rossetti. Then <laughs> A Modest Proposal by Jonathan Swift, which I thought was hilarious. And then Shadow Script, which is um, 12 poems for Lindisfarne and Bambra, which I got given when I worked at the Newcastle Poetry Festival. And then I have uh, Nachtblau by Simone van der Vlucht, which is also a Dutch book. I do think this has been translated in English as well. Um, and it's a historical fiction novel, but I haven't read it yet. Oh, and here is Billy and Me, like I said. So those are all the books that I brought with me to uni. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments whether you've read any of the books that I've got, because I certainly haven't read them all yet which is also why I brought them here. And